Doing Eagles highlights where we say a game that we never felt like they were in, and that's what happened against the 49ers last week, and it's what happened against the Cowboys this week. Uh, Jason, do you quantify this as that was a rough stretch, or are you identifying things that are actually issues with the Eagles right oh, now? Oh, there, there are definitely issues with yeah. the Eagles, and whether it's a rough stretch, we'll see how they finish the season. But as you looked at that game last night, and the Cowboys come out, and they score a touchdown, field goal, touchdown, touchdown, and then you go back to a week ago against that locomotive that is the San Francisco 49ers right now, we talked about how they punted the ball the first two possessions and then they went on a run of about six straight drives where they scored touchdowns the Eagles have given up points on 13 of their last 15 drives Damn. this is a defense that we've talked about the middle of it with Fletcher Cox and Jalen Carter of team Jordan Davis teams not being able to run the ball Dallas came out and established a run right away in that game and then Dak Prescott took to the air we talk about Darius Slay and we talk about James Bradbury of them having the guys in the secondary they went and brought over Kevin Byard from the Tennessee Titans to shore up because they had some injuries at the safety position. And then this past week, they go out and get Shaq Leonard. And the defense didn't look improved at all, especially to start this game. Before you know it, they're down 24-6 to six at halftime, and you're looking up like, how the hell are we going to come back? So this is an Eagles team that you can say, all right, it's all doom and gloom over the past two weeks. But at the same time, the, the ability to finish games earlier in the season have afforded them kind of the opportunity to have a rough stretch like this. They still have 10 wins. They're still in a conversation for the number one mm -hmm. uh, slot in the NFC to have that home field advantage. They're still well and alive, and everything is, is doom and gloom right now. But the Eagles still are a good football team. They still have a chance to be exactly where they want to be at the end of the season. To me, the more of the concern is how they're playing. But then also on the other side is how the 49ers are playing right now. They've looked so good at the top of the NFC, at the top, and how they've played these last few weeks. That is just like the Eagles, with how they struggle, how Dallas is coming along. I don't know if they can catch up mm. with the way San Francisco's playing right now. They get Fletcher Cox after the game, and he's he's down. And they sit him at the locker room, and they, they interview him. And this is from Bob Brooklyn over who does it for NewJersey.com says, this is the quote that we get from Fletcher. Let's be honest, we got punched in the mouth two weeks in a row. We've got a little blood dripping from our lip, but the thing about this team is we'll get stitched up, we'll get our corrections made, and now we have a little time to think about it. We don't play again until next Monday. I, I, I'm, I'm not going world is ending if I'm an Eagles fan. Those are two really good teams, and yes, you got your blood, bloody lips, but I feel like the way the schedule plays out, the Eagles still have a solid month to make things right. Then you get into the playoffs, and you're going to have uh, to play these two teams again. Look at this Eagles remaining schedule. Seattle, they come limping in four straight losses. The Giants twice and the Cardinals. Eagles could still win these final four games and then be the hot team going into the playoffs. It's such a long season, 18 weeks, that even on December, whatever we're at right now, there's still four games, four weeks, four stories to be told. I can't ring the alarm and do the world is melting thing right now. And by the way, they get Dom back on the sidelines in Seattle. Sure. So things are going to be okay and everything will be right in the right Dom's track. probable for Seattle? He's or, definite. definitely. Oh, really? he, was, he was in Dallas, but not on the field. On the field. You don't have to warm up before the game? I reported this on Fox yesterday. This was such a deal for the Eagles that like Howie Roseman, John Ferrari, multiple attorneys, like they all went to the league office on Friday and like made the case for Dom. So, like, he is important to them. They, they believe that much about it. He was banned from one game from the sidelines, but he'll be back, and let's go. There's a guy named John Ferrari? Oh, yeah. And Dom DeSandro. You think it office. need to be more Italian same than that? And Nick Ferrari. Sirianni. They all live on the same block. <laughs> let's go. Uh, who is this guy I see all over Instagram, this comedian Tim Robinson from I yeah. Think You Should Leave? Yes. He guy. does that thing where he goes, like, you sure about that? I, I, I see that constantly. So I see Jalen Hurts say, this is something we're going through, not something we're stuck in. You sure about that? That's, that's how the kids <laughs> meme these days. Peter, last week was the, they got their nose bloodied. Twice, I know. No, 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 that was that game. And in true Balboian Philadelphia fashion, you get knocked out by Clubber Lang and you train and then you come back the next week. They didn't score a touchdown on offense. Yeah. They didn't score a touchdown. There are three teams outside of the Eagles and the NFC that matter. Actually, after watching Detroit maybe yesterday, two. maybe there's two. Yeah. They've played both of them the last two weeks. They've lost 75 to 32. They've just gotten they, – they've – They've gotten destroyed. I can't believe what I was watching yesterday. The, the defense, Jason, we knew I had concerns about yeah. that. They didn't score a touchdown. Jalen Hurts, like, I have to ask, is David Carr having a day today? Is right. he out? Has David Carr tweeted yet? Is he walking around beating his chest? I mean, believe me, he enjoyed this game. They did nothing on offense. I, we All we can go by is how the games go against the teams that matter. It's true. I know they're going to make the playoffs. We all know that. They're going to beat up on those crappy teams you just showed, and they're going to make the playoffs. They just got trounced by the two teams in their whole conference that matter. 
one of them at home, and there's this feeling of, yeah, but Dallas, we'll take care of them. We'll get. They didn't. This Philadelphia was bad. They were maybe even worse than they were last week, and I didn't think that was possible. I guess they got time to get it right, and I don't think their season's over. But listen, there is that long, long, long streak of quarterbacks who lose their Super Bowl debut and never make it back to another one. Can I can I make a what? case here? This is this is Do the, it. this is the again on the flip side of this. What? Niners had ten days to prepare for that game. They lose. Dallas had 10 days to prepare mm -hmm. for that game. They lose. The Eagles have just gone through a stretch where they played the Chiefs, the Bills, the 49ers. They, like, every schedule is different. They just got caught in a really rough You're window right slip here. a disc in your back apologizing for that. I know, I know. Why is that? And I'm why, not an Eagles guy. That, I know. I'm not, I'm not, I just, I don't. I don't think the world is ending after that. Those no, two they're losses. gonna make the playoffs. But we we were handing them the world the two weeks ago, and this is incredible. And like, are they gonna make it to that title game against the Niners, whoever yeah. it is? Why not? I don't know. It was just bad. It was bad. Sorry. It feels like a very polarizing moment. There, this th we could go back to these two games and find out on the back end that like Jalen Hurts, in fact, had a least Frank injury, and we just didn't know when he was playing through it. And to your point, then David Carr is like, I told you he wasn't right. It was never. Or. They lose these two, they win the next four, they are absolutely flying in January, and we look at this as the moment where they sure. figured it out. If they had beat some team 75-30 to 30 over two stretches, but then they lose, I think they'd, if they're going to have it right the ship, this would be the time to do J it. Jalen like, Hurts has not been good. You're right. Right. Like, he hasn't been good these two weeks. I know. And we praise Jalen Hurts at, at every corner. So I'm not making excuses and saying that he's put – they've been bad, objectively. Yeah. I'm just saying – Not bad enough to panic. No, I'm, I'm very concerned. Yeah. Very concerned. Because even with the, you, you look at the remaining schedule and they go in and they beat all four of these teams, what, what, what are we going to say? They beat four losing teams going into the playoffs, the sure. two teams that matter in the NFC. I'm not giving them the Seattle game next week. No That's doubt fair. about it. Hell no. Yeah.